Hello, dear students, we want to show you our lecture that was created by the Department of Propagatic of Internal Medicine No. 1, Bogomolitz National Medical University. Auscultation of the lung. Purpose of this lecture to learn master principle types and rules of auscultation of the chest to understand physical grounds of auscultation, mechanism of production of normal and abnormal respiratory sounds, learn characteristic of a bronchial and vesicular respiratory sound, their distinguishing. You should study a qualitative and quantitative changes of the vesicular respiratory sound and their diagnostic importance. What is the plan of the lecture? It is a history of method, technique of auscultation, main sounds of auscultation, and added sounds of auscultation. What is it auscultation? It is a method of physical examination of the passion that based on the consistent listening to the sound phenomena that occur during the functioning of individual organs, such as lung, heart and digestive tract. You could see some historical aspects on this slide. So auscultation could be direct and indirect direct listening of the passion body part by the ear and indirect listening with a stethoscope of phonetoscope. What is the rule of lung auscultation? For listening of basic respiratory noises, the patient should breathe calmly and evenly through their slightly open mouth, as for yourself. The patient position may be any, but more convenient is vertical position of the patient. For auscultation of the posterior surface of the chest, convenient position of passion is standing with arms crossed on his chest. The stethoscope must be placed at strictly symmetrical points of the right and left half of the chest. Here is the picture. You could see the technique of auscultation. Please look. We start from auscultation place of the apex of the right lung. Then auscultation place of the upper lobe of the right lung then place of the middle lobe of the right lung and auscultation place of the lower lobe of the right lung. Remember, you should compare it. At the back side, auscultation place of the apex of the left lung, then auscultation place of the upper lobe on the left lung and auscultation place of the lower lobe of the left lung. And remember, you should do it at the right lung also. What is the main sounds you could hear during auscultation? Vesicular, it's called respiratio vesicularis. Bronchial, respiratio bronchialis. Added sound, you could hear rail crackles, crepitation and pleural friction rub. Important, type and amplitude of breath sounds. It could be intensity, pitch, duration of phases and type of added sounds and location also. What is the main respiratory sound? Vesicular breathing, let's talk about it. Normally listen over the entire surface of the chest above the lungs. Remember the mechanism of vesicular respiration is oscillations of the walls of the pulmonary valley at the high of the breeze under the influence of air flow. Condition of formations of normal vesicular respiration, free airway and preserved elasticity of the alveoli. Vesicular breathing is noiseless audible inhalation and short exhalation. Please, you could hear this vesicular sound. Also, decreased vesicular. Increased vesicular. Variance of vesicular breathing changes in pathology. It could be quantitative changes, increased vesicular respiration and decreased vesicular respiration. And qualitative changes, it called puerile breathing, harsh breathing, cochlear intermittent respiration, and vesicular respiration 
with prolonged exhalation. In this scam, you could see this. Physiological changes of the vesicular breath sound, it could be decreased vesicular breathing, thick chest wall, for example, excessively developed muscles or subcutaneous fat. Increased vesicular breathing, thin chest wall, undeveloped muscles or undeveloped subcutaneous fat. In children, for example, good elasticity of the alveoli, it's called puerile. And during exercise. What are the pathologically decreased vesicular breathing? First of all, it's abnormal generation of breath sound. During pulmonary emphysema, initial stage of acute lobal pneumonia, obstructive atelectasis when airflow is decreased, and compressive atelectasis. Second one is abnormal transmission of breath sounds, thickening of the pleural layers, pleural effusion, pneumothorax, some inflammation of the respiratory muscle, rib fracture, and intercostal nerves. Pathologically increased vesicular breathing, increased speed through narrowed airway, some inflammatory edema of the mucosa or bronchospasm during bronchial asthma or chronic uh, bronchitis. What is the quality of changes of vesicular breathing? Puerile breathing, well expressed vesicular breathing with audible exhalation in children and adolescents from 12 to 14 years, as often you could hear it. Harsh breathing. In bronchitis, due to swelling of the mucous membrane of the bronchi and the occurrence of additional turbulent air movements. Some cochlear intermittent respiration due to inflammation and narrowing of the bronchials local, it's called also in the pathology of the respiratory muscles, some diffuse. Vesicular respiration with prolonged exhalation, bronchospasm. Here you could hear bronchial breath sound, it loud harsh, expiratory sound lasts longer than inspiratory one. Let's hear it. Pathological bronchial breathing is observed in the consolidation of the pulmonary tissue in First of all, acute lobal pneumonia, tuberculosis, during some lung infarction, compressive atelectasis, pneumosclerosis, information of an empty cavity in the lung. It could be communicated with a large bronchus, such as a pulmonary abscess or cavernous tuberculosis, if patient have. Bronchovesicular or mixed breathing, inspiratory and expiratory sounds about equal in length at times separated by a silent interval and differences in pitch and intensity are often more easily detected during expiration. Such type of breeze sounds are heard when solid lung tissue locates deep or far from one another. Let's hear. The additional sounds. It's rails, crackles, ronhi in Latin, crepitation, crepitatio, pleural friction rub, afflictus pleuricus. Additional sounds also is rails, crackles, let's talk about them. It's generated in bronchi and bronchials. It could be dry and moist, dry, narrowing of airways if patient have or presence of the viscose sputum. If patient have present of liquid, secretion sputum, or some congestive fluid or blood. Crepitation. Crepitation generated in alveoli when they contain small amount of liquid secretion. During expiration, alveoli stick together as a result of fluid presence. During inspiration, alveolar walls separate with difficulty at the end of inspiration to produce late inspiratory slight cracking sound. So let listen.
it is after a puff. Next is pleural friction rub. Hurts through inspiration and expiration and is differentiated by intensity, location and duration. If patients have some commissures, bands between pleural layers at the focus of inflammation or when fibrin deposits of inflammated pleura to make a surface route in. So, let's listen. After cough. Another variant. Thanks for your attention.